Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we finally have an honor haul. This was about time. First off, we have XOXO by Axio. This book is romance and I have noticed I not liking romance lately. Like I don't gravitate towards it. The only one that I'm doing like going into it is um, Heartstopper and yeah I somebody's going to like this way more than me I, I haven't even read it this one I did read it I'll be the one um, by Layla Lee I did enjoy this but this one I feel like somebody else is going to like it more it has a lot of representation like LGBTQ plus um and body positivity i think somebody else is going to enjoy this a lot so yeah next we have my cat show books first we have gumiho wicked fox i did read this one i did enjoy it at the time that i read it but i have felt lately that i have like outgrown some um younger books so yeah and dog could be vicious spirits is the sequel like the companion sequel to um gumiho i did enjoy it again but again i felt like i have um outgrown it And finally, from Kacho, um, was a, once upon a K drum. I did bought this like when it came out. Um, I tried to read it, but this is when I started seeing that I was a growing young adult. Like the kids these days say, it felt cringy when I read it, when I was starting reading it, and I DNF'd it. I I just not no, it's not going to go with me. Now we have Jog, Jog, Jog. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. By Mary H. K. Chowley. This one, I was in the middle of it, in the hundred and something pages in, and I don't know. I think maybe I got desperate. I don't know. Like I wanted things to go quickly. I don't know. Maybe, and I lost. Um, interest in it yeah this one is gotta go so this one I don't know if I'm going to get rid of it because I did love this book is a long way down by Jason Reynolds the thing is I think my cousin is going to really love this book so I'm thinking of giving it to them but it's just me thinking next we have six creams and grains by Elizabeth Lim. I did bought this book like when it was coming out like I pre-ordered it because the story felt really like entertaining and oh my god the cover is so beautiful. The it came with some bonus stuff and um it was signed like personalized to me. And that's one of the things that is like holding me to you giving it away. It's personalized. It's so beautiful. I'm thinking that I'm going to give it like another try. Maybe I, I don't know. Honestly, I'm thinking about it. Next, Rick Riordan presents a Dragon Pair by Yoon Hali. I don't remember even starting this book. And what I was very curious when I heard about this book in particular because it's mythology and one that I haven't read enough about it but I think I have lost my curiosity in it and so next one we have one that I don't know if I'm going to get rid of is Akata Witch by Neri Okorafor I did read this one and I did enjoy it when I read it I love the story, I love the magic beautiful 
but here we have Akata Warrior by Nelly Orafor, the sequel to Akata Witch. And here's the thing, I was reading this book, I don't know if it's because it's chunky that I couldn't keep going or that I outgrow it. I don't know. And then we have Nelly Okorafor, Binti, the whole trilogy. And I did read the first novella, I did like it. I was in the middle of the other one, I couldn't, I don't think I could get into it. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of them or give them like a second chance. I'm thinking of giving them like a second chance, try to read them now and see if I like it or not. If not, I think my cousin, I think they will like it. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.